Let's look at the report page tooltip that operates when I hover over one of the points in the scatter plot. You can see that as I hover over an element that uh, the information in the tooltip filters down to the appropriate element. Uh, there's really not a whole lot going on with this tooltip that wouldn't be in the Power BI documentation for creating your report page tooltips. But the basic functionality is I want to go beyond the standard tooltip and I want to add visualizations uh, to the uh, actual report page. It's not just a window uh, that appears here, but it's actually a separate page that appears when I hover over one of these elements. And uh, you can see down at the bottom I have a hidden tooltip page just called tooltip. It does not have to be called tooltip. But uh, you can see on this page that I have a title with the element and the symbol and then I have nine card visuals that are set up to show different measures uh, for this uh, particular element or set of elements. Right now it's not filtered which is why you can see everything that kind of summed very strangely and uh, it defaults to the first element alphabetically in uh, the periodic table. But uh, to set this up uh, I simply use the the standard tooltip page and then I customize the size a bit. So I'm going to come over to format and page size and by default if you add a tooltip page you have this option for for um, you know a certain size and because I wanted to fit a little bit more onto the tooltip I uh, increased the height a bit so uh, you, you'd see a standard tooltip size be 240 pixels high but obviously I can't fit everything visually that I'd want to fit on there so instead I use custom and then I had the height increased uh, to 320 pixels. Uh, the cards are set up in such a way where each one displays a measure. If I were to do this in a more robust or more permanent data model, uh, I would use explicit measures here. Uh, but you can see here just a standard list of implicit measures with the data pulled in numerically as it uh, came from the data source. Uh, there's no DAX explicit measure here, which uh, if I were creating a, a, a say, a, a business reporting solution, then I, I would do this a little bit more according to best practice, but I'd create a, a separate measure here uh, with a little bit finer grain control. And the other thing that I'm doing here uh, is creating a calculated column for the title, which once again, if I were doing this in a more permanent reporting solution, I might opt to do this in Power Query instead of a DAX calculated column. But you can see here that I'm combining the element name and the symbol along with some parentheses uh, so that I can get this title view instead of simply only the element name or only the symbol uh, for uh, the reference here. Now to set up the tooltip, uh, if I come in to the format area and select page information, I simply need to change the toggle here to, s to tell Power BI that it's available to be a report page tooltip. I set up my visualizations, in this case this, the different card visuals, and for the background, if I pull some of these off, uh, you'll notice that uh, you know it's got this kind of cloudy background, and that's simply an image that I found, a free royalty-free stock photo, and I just pulled that in as a page background. And then the other thing that's going on here are the different units, where you'll notice that uh, I don't have in my data source uh, you know the, the units called out in the name, and I don't have them called out as part of the label here on fields. Uh, so I cheated a bit and I just have separate text boxes. Uh, once again, it's something where if it were a, say, business uh, or more permanent reporting solution, uh, I might have chosen to do this a little bit differently, but this was just a, a quick and dirty uh, weekend report. So uh, in setting up the tooltip, uh, I have selected the page, I've added the information to the page, and uh, let Power BI know that it's available to, to be a tooltip. To set it up with a scatter plot, uh, I simply need to come in and uh, choose the scatter plot visualization, go to format, and then scroll down. And here, under the tooltip area that I expand, I simply needed to change the default and instead choose the report page selection, and then change the name to uh, tooltip, which corresponds to the name of the page. If I had changed it to any other page name, you would see that reflected here. So it just happens to be called tooltip by chance. You don't have to call it tooltip yourself. You'll see that whatever page name is uh, is available to you, you'd be able to choose from the menu. 
But at least in this case, uh, if you look at the Power BI documentation for report page tooltips, it follows very closely. Uh, there's not a whole lot of special magic going on uh, with regard to the setup here, other than what you would normally do for tooltip creation.